Hi friends, it's Terry Gaines. In this video, I'm sharing a fun fold card that I created using the Flavored Flowers 12 by 12 Designer Series paper. You receive this paper free with a $50 purchase during Stampin' Up! Celebration, which ends February 28th. You can use any Designer Series paper, but this paper works perfect. It has these beautiful, rich colors, and they coordinate with Stampin' Up!'s exclusive colors that are available in cardstock, ink pads, blends, markers, and a variety of different other items. But the beauty of this paper is the front side of the paper coordinates with the back side of the paper, and that's what we want for this fun fold card. So you can select any of these papers. You get two each of the six double-sided prints, and these first three prints I'm showing you are going to be perfect for this fun fold card because the front and the back coordinate with each other. The next three prints I like using for embellishing the cards because you can take your paper snips and you can cut out all of these floral images. And if it happens to be your floral image doesn't, um, where you're using this image, you don't need the leaves. You can just cut those off and then you can use them and tuck them where you need them to be. And I'm gonna show you how I do that. And you also have this print that is, you can cut out all of these images. And as I mentioned, if you don't need the leaves, cut them off. And if you don't want to fussy cut around those images, you can just cut those off too. And then this last print, there's some dyes that will cut all of these out. These coordinate with the Fragrant Flowers um, stamp set. You can purchase the stamp set and the dies separately or they're bundled together for a 10% savings. The two images in the stamp set, the dies will also cut those out, but they will cut out every image in this designer series paper. And I just have a sample to show you that. And I also cut out the side pieces because you can use those for embellishing your cards um, for the inside or also for the outside of the cards. So this paper is going to be perfect and what you need to do is decide what print you're going to use. I'm going to use this print and the colors I'm going to use with this are going to be the petal pink and the basic black. So for our cards, um, stock. I have some measurements. I also have a PDF you can download free from my blog. If you found me via YouTube, look in the comment section, I'm sorry, the text section of the video and get a direct link to my blog post. So the card base we need is four and a quarter by five and a half. I'm going to use petal pink. There's a card base layer that's optional. This is four and an eighth by five and three eighths. I have those cut in advance. The designer series paper needs to be 11 and three quarters by five and a quarter. It is scored at four inches and at eight inches. And to help out with um, the graphics or the um, visual of this card, on the PDF I have a graphics which will show you that when you place your designer series paper down to score it, you want this center panel is going to be the front panel of your card. So if you want this design to be the front, you'd place it down like that. If you want this side to be the front, you would place it down like this. So I'm going to have this for the front, so that's going to tell me to place it down like here. My first score line is 4 inches and at 8 inches. So I like using the larger tip of the stylus because then I get a a softer score line. If I use the smaller tip and push too hard, I could crack the paper or tear the paper. I'm also going to flip this over, still use the largest size, and just softly score both the front and the back. What that helps to do is helps burnish the cardstock so when you fold it, it doesn't crack. Now, both of these folds need to be mountain folds. That's what the M is representing here in the, on the um, graphics. So what we want to do is fold them both to be a mountain fold. And I would suggest just to use your hands. Do not bring in a, a bone folder because that might um, crease it too much and break the fibers. So what we want to do also is I like using the Simply Scoring, push the cardstock up to the wall and bring this panel down and also put that up to the wall. And that helps me get this to be squared up and to be just nice and aligned. I also like to use the corner for the next fold. So what I'm gonna do is rotate it so this goes into the corner. Then I'm gonna bring this edge up to that wall and into the corner. And this is going to help me just get this card folded right in the right spot so everything is nice and aligned. So here we have our card. So this actually was sitting like here. This is the four and the eight. 
And what we want to do now is create a window in the center panel. I've been using the stylish shaped dies for lots of projects. I love the four different size banners, the circles and the squares. You can pick the squares or the circles, and I've just been always going to the circles, but either would work. What we want to do is take and cut out an opening in the center panel. So you're going to put this on your die cutting machine and cut it out. To save some time, I've done that ahead of time, so let me bring that in. I've got that window cut out. So I also have notations on here which are going to be helpful, indicating that this is going to be adhered to the back panel and this is the inside. So that just helps you know how this is going to be um, folded and oriented. So it's gonna fold like this and through the window you're going to see that other side of the designer series paper. So I'm gonna take the simply scoring out of the way. We're done with that. And now we're gonna start our assembly. So what we wanna do is bring in our favorite adhesive and we want to adhere these two pieces together. So I'm going to put my adhesive on the back of the smaller piece of cardstock and I like looking at opposite corners and looking at all four sides. When I look at the opposite corners, I can look at all four sides to see that I got my equal spacing and then place that down for adhering that. I like to do that for this too, but it gets hard to hold everything in place because you really have three layers here. So what I'm going to do is put my adhesive on the back and then I'm gonna line up three sides and let that fourth side fall into place. So I'm gonna hold it like this and look at these three sides. And then that fourth one, if I cut everything square, should fall right into place. So this is how our card is going to open. See how this coordinates together? And you've got a, you've got a beautiful card already just with the paper, but we're going to add some embellishments to it. So what I've done, I've done a lot of prep work ahead of time. I have fussy cut out all these papers, or papers, these flowers, that are going to go embellish the card. I have three circles that are the same size circle that I cut out here. You have options for this. If you wanted to, in these two, you could just add a flower to the center if it was flipped around, like I've had this on the inside and this on the outside. What I'm going to do is cover that up with the circle and the sentiment. So it's going to be like a puzzle. The cutout piece or the window you cut and the piece you're going to put in has to be the same dies. So you can use any shape dies for this. And I'm going to just put that back in like a puzzle piece. Now what I'm also going to do is decorate, instead of having a small flower that stays within the window, I'm going to decorate the outside panel. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this flower image and place it down here. When I use these flower images to um, embellish my cards, I like to add a little bit of texture to them. So I always roll them down and then just roll the tips up a little bit just to add some dimension to my projects. Now I'm going to place this one right here. Now what I want to do is I'm gonna put those on with dimensionals and the thing we wanna be careful, we don't want any adhesive in this window, otherwise it's gonna hold that together. So what I'm going to do, and it looks like I forgot to bring my take your pick tool over to the video area. So just use my fingers. I'm gonna put two dimensionals. They are very strong. They give a little bit of a dimension because they're a foam adhesive. I'm gonna put two on the edge so they're still on that front panel. And then I'm going to place this down. And the only thing I have to make sure of is that I cover up the dimensionals. Those two dimensionals are strong enough to hold that. Now I talked about how you can take that paper and you can cut off some of the leaves. So I actually cut off the two leaves here for this one and it had three of them on it. And what I'm gonna do is just curve those a little bit. I'm gonna put my two dimensionals right here on the card. And now I'm going to take this flower and just add another flower here to kind of build a bouquet. Here's a leaf that I had cut off of it. And now I can just, instead of wherever it was attached, you're kind of committed to that. Now you can place it wherever you want. So you can take those leaves off and replace those. And I'm just gonna add it right there. So that is the front of the card. I really love how that is. That could just be a front of a card without a fun fold. So now I'm gonna open this up. 
you have the option to decorate this area. That's where I'm going to put this circle. I'm going to place that circle right there. And what I'm going to do first, though, is place this inside circle. And I'll explain why I'm going to do that. This inside circle, which is blank, is to sign the card. I want it to be in the, uh, the same location as this. So I'm going to place it um, so it's going right across here. And I'm going to place it here. Now I'm going to close this. When I place this circle down, I want it to line up with this one. So the reason I did that one first is if I put this one down and it wasn't aligned, um, then, I mean, not that it makes a difference, but I want it to be the best alignment as I can have it. So when you open it up, you're going to see both those circles. Now what I want to do is embellish those a little bit. So I have this flower that I cut out. And there was a third leaf. I cut that off because I just want to work with it with just the two leaves. And you can decide how you want that to be on your card. And there's not going to be a wrong way to do that. So I'm just going to take this. And this is just going to add a little bit more decoration. Let's turn it this way. Let's put it that way. Um, like I said, it's not going to be any wrong way. This is where you're going to sign your, your card. Open this up. Now we do see this designer series paper, the backside. It's not a bad, it coordinates. But what I have done is I have taken another group of flowers and I cut those out. And now what I want to do is just attach those to kind of camouflage those flowers, the back of the flowers from the inside. My goal is to make sure they stay below this paper because I don't want it up high to see it in the back side. So what I'm going to do is take a couple dimensionals and just place them here. And the reason I'm doing that is there's dimensionals attaching it on the front and I want that um, height to be the same. So now I'm just going to take this and I'm just going to really just kind of camouflage that a little bit. And I thought I brought another little leaf over that you can tuck a leaf right there and then that just camouflages that the front part of the card. But this is the fun fold. So you can sign, um, you can add another little flower there if you want. Let me rephrase that. You don't want to sign anything here. That's what you see in the front of the window. Because if you add anything there, you're going to see it through the front. So that's the front of the card. You open it up. You've got the inside one and inside two. So I think this is such a fun card to create. I have some more samples to share with you. I failed to tell you that the stamp set I use for the sentiments is from the Peaceful Moment stamp set. I love this stamp set because you've got some sentiments that are all occasion. They're perfect for the outside of your card, but also sentiments for the inside of your card. These two cards were also created using that same sentiment stamp set and kind of the same philosophy where the the item or the image is um, going into the circle. So this one I use the square instead of the circle and then I just love this paper. And then I added a flower there to camouflage the back of that. Isn't this paper just beautiful? Perfect for this fun fold card. Here's another one using the Peaceful Moment stamp set and um, a different print and just perfect for any occasion. And here's a sample where I put the flower in and then these leaves were cut off out of the scrap paper of this print and just covered up some of that. So a good way to camouflage those images. I have three more samples to share with you. Um, let me show you this one first. This is using the Hydra Hydrangea Haven stamp set. You've got some nice sentiments in here. And this one, I did not put a circle in there. So through the opening, you see the other side of the designer series paper, which I added an image here. So that worked out perfect. And then you open it up and then you've got the opportunity to decorate that side. This is one of the flowers cut out with the dies. And then you open it up and you see the whole piece here. So when you decorate this panel, just make sure everything you put, anything you put on it is below this window opening. Otherwise you see it in the front. So I just love how this paper works for this fun fold project. And then I have two more. These are using the Pansy Patch stamp set, which has some outside sentiments and inside sentiments. And here's one very much like the one I just showed you. And it's the same paper for the one I assembled, but the papers were reversed or the sides were reversed. 
So I just put the cutout image here and then I just decorated here. I, I matted the circles and um, just a fun card with so much versatility. And the last one, I added a color circle to just pop out the Fresh Freesia color. And we have just a sentiment on that first panel. And then this is where you can sign the card. This is such a fun, fun fold to use for this designer series paper. If you have any questions, please reach out to me. If you are new to my YouTube channel, I would love to have you subscribe to the YouTube channel. And um, if you would like the PDF, the free PDF, just go look in the text part of the, the video and there'll be a drink direct link to my blog post with additional photos. So thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this project. Take care and happy creating.